Hey guys, Jim here again to give you guys another MMA Fight Prediction video, and this time I'm covering the main event for UFC on FX7 in Brazil. That features two top middleweight contenders when UFC 12 heavyweight tournament winner and UFC former light heavyweight champion Vitor the Phenom Belfort takes on Michael Bisping. Now, I will give you guys a fight breakdown, prediction, and backstory of what led to this fight. Now, without further ado, let's get this started now. The bout between Vitor the Phenom Belfort and Michael the Count Bisping officially was not confirmed until November 3rd because up until that point it was rumored but now it's slated for UFC FX7 in Brazil. Now both combatants are coming off UFC 152 bouts where Michael Bisping scored a dominant victory over Brian Stan by unanimous decision by taking the All-American down in round two and round three having him up against the cage clinching him not getting into any wild exchanges and therefore secured the victory now Vitor to his credit suffered a Americana fourth round submission loss to John Jones the UFC light heavyweight champion in a title fight where in the first round Vitor scored an armbar but he did not torque it and take his arm out of alignment because had he taken Jones arm out of alignment he would be the champion right now but he decided when he heard it pop let it go and that decision cost him the fight because John dominated the rest of the fight and scored the Americana for the fourth round submission. Now, Michael Bisping in this fight wants to get his very first signature win over a high profile opponent. Because every time he's faced a high profile opponent, he's come up short. Especially in the Dan Henderson fight where he became a highlight reel. Now in the Chael Sonnen fight, that was for the number one contendership for Anderson Silva's belt. He came up short in that fight. I gave him round two, hands down. But I had Sonnen winning round one and round three. I know some of you think Bisping won the fight, but it is what it is. I think Chell did a little bit more in round one and round three to secure himself the victory. And Michael did awesome in round two, though. It was a close fight, but Chell won. Nevertheless, if he beats Vitor, I believe he is the front runner to challenge Anderson Silva for his title. Should Anderson Silva not take any more super fights as the GSP fight? Because. If Anderson Silva has to face another champion at George St. Pierre, because if George gets beat past Condon, Dana White has already stated that him and Anderson will meet in May, likely at a big stadium for their super fight. And not to mention, there's also talk of Silva facing Jones. Now if that happens in 2013, the middleweight title picture will be in limbo. But should GSP not come up the victor against Condon, I say Bisping gets the immediate title shot over his peers if he defeats Vitor Belfort. Now for Vitor Belfort, this will be one of his last three fights at 185 because he's already stated he only has at least three to four fights left at 185 because the guy's 35 and when you get later in life and age it becomes harder and harder to cut the weight so he's probably likely to go back up to 205 if he continues fighting now 
Vitor is looking to dispatch with Vince Bing and get another title shot against the Silva. But in my opinion, I think he needs one more convincing victory, especially after that front kick KO lock that he suffered by Anderson in May, no, actually February of 2011. So, he has, in my opinion, to get another victory to secure himself a title shot. But then again, if Anderson wants to defend his belt and the winner of Vitor and Michael are ready, I say they get the title shot because they both have name value and um, Chris Weidman, all due respect, and Tim Boshe, all due respect, neither one of you guys have a big enough name right now to generate the dollars that Anderson is looking for in order to pay the revenue. I mean, I actually like Weidman. Chances of beating Silva, but Silva doesn't want to fight him. Not just because I think he's scared to fight Weidman, because he knows the payday won't be as rich fighting Weidman. Same thing with Boshe. Although Boshe, in my opinion, doesn't have a chance in hell of beating Anderson Silva whatsoever. But um, both guys are looking to take each other out to get a title shot. That's basically the key to this fight. Bisping wants a top name. Vitor just wants to knock his ass out and get himself another title shot because his time at middleweight is becoming very, very limited. So that does it for the backstory. Now let's move on to the fight breakdown and prediction. now these two fighters, Vitor Belfort has wicked hand speed with his boxing and he has a great Jiu Jitsu base because he's a black belt under Carlson Gracie. He has 14 career knockouts that include Scott Ferroza and Trey Telegram which he defeated to win the UFC 12 heavyweight tournament when he was 19. Not to mention he completely swarmed and blitzed Vanderlei Silva like I have seen nobody else do before. That was swift, explosive, and awesome. And most recently, he dispatched of, in that style, Yoshihiro Yakiyama and Rich Frank. And for his jiu-jitsu, he basically displayed that against John Jones with that arm bar, which he should have broke his arm in my opinion because he became the champ. He earned a pot, but man, if that thing isn't like aligned properly and it's not twisted around, you torque that thing until it's broken, man, because I don't care if you earn a pop. You basically make sure it's broken. That's what I would have taken as Jones if I was him. Because nobody wants to get a beating for four rounds against John Jones and they can break his arm and take his belt. Now, for Michael Bisping, he has great crisp kickboxing skills. He has great improved defensive and offensive wrestling skills greatly displayed in the Brian Stan and Shell Sutton fight where he took down Stan repeatedly for round two and round three and he also defended the takedown of Shell Sutton in their fight, sprawled and brawled, didn't let Chael stay on top of him for very long, and not to mention he took Chael down. So, in that respect, you have to be on your P's and Q's with Bisping nowadays because he's now fallen in love with the wrestling to a certain degree. And he also has a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu base. I'm unsure of his rank, but his Jiu Jitsu is pretty good defensively and offensively. Um, he has four career submission victories and like Vitor, 14 career knockouts. Now, the key for Vitor is to strike first and if he can finish Michael in the first round, go for it. And defend the takedowns and keep it on the feet 
But if he gets taken down, threat with a submission, reverse the position, and strike him there, on top mount wise, or get a submission, like a rear naked choke like he did against Anderson. Not Anderson, you know, um, Anthony Johnson. Anthony Johnson, not Anderson Silva, I think it's something else. Now, as far as Michael Bisping, don't get a crazy exchange with Vitor. I hope he's prepping hard with South Pauls that can get in and explode on him in a hurry. Because that's the kind of South Paul he's going to be doing with Vitor. Because both these guys are South Paul, but Michael has to be careful of this type of South Paul because this South Paul will basically, not only if he gets in quick enough, he will make Bisping's counter style betray him because circling around Vitor is almost as dumb as circling around Dan Henderson. As well as Dan Henderson will make the circle around to his right hand, Vitor is going to throw straighter punches and put you out. Because he gets in and he is quick and he is accurate. So, um, Michael has to dominate from start to finish if he wants to get a decision. Especially in Brazil, they're likely to give a unanimous decision or split decision to their hometown boy because, you know, he's Brazilian, Michael is a foreigner. So, you have to expect that from time to time home crowd decisions. So, I mean, hometown decisions. But still. He has to be dominant throughout, not getting crazy exchanges with Vitor, and if it's there, get a takedown, defend the submission. I honestly don't see Biz being, being able to keep Vitor there indefinitely because uh, Michael's a strong guy, but he is not T. Ortiz, he is not Randy Couture, and he is not John Jones. So. I don't see him keeping Vitor there for very long in this fight. I see Vitor sprawling and brawling, if not going for submissions, reversing position, and trying to submit Bisping. But, you know, Michael's going to have to, like, truly be on his P's and Q's, not to mention mix up his striking with the kickboxing. I mean, Vitor also throws some kicks too, but it's mostly his boxing where he excels at. But Michael is a three-dimensional fighter because he uses everything. He's just a two-dimensional fighter. So, literally, it's going to be an interesting contest. I mean, I see a real hard-nosed, technical, hard-fought fight. And my official prediction is that Vitor defeats Michael Bisping by knockout, possibly in the first or second. But then again, Michael can pull off the victory. He does have the skills to do it, but I just don't see it happening. I see him more or less like the Kenny Florian of the division. Great, yes, but against top um, named opponents, he falters. But can Michael prove me wrong? Hey, it's never made fun. Anything can happen, but if I'm a betting man, my money is on Vitor Belfort. So, that's my official prediction for this fight. Vitor Belfort takes Michael Bisping's head off in round one or round two. Because I don't see this thing going all five rounds at all. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know where to give me a thumbs up at. And be sure to catch my next fight prediction video. I mean, there won't be any next week or the following week. Because i got some other things to deal with. So, but don't worry. There will be plenty more later in December. Now, have a good day. Jim, signing off.